briefly. So briefly, what is CSPN? <laughs> CSPN is Creator Entertainment and Sports Programming Network. It's our student-run organization that films all of our outdoor football games. We're going to be doing the track season this year. In it, we get to work with equipment that's used in professional arenas, including instant replay, show control. We have directors and producers for the games. Our students use cameras that are cable wired into our system. Uh, we record the game, we put on a show, and now we're expanding into doing reviews. We're going to be starting a new show, shooting live games. What kind of equipment are the kids getting experience with? Uh, all sorts of different things. Uh, from a software standpoint, we've played around with the Adobe Premiere, After Effects with some of the kids. Um, from a hardware standpoint, we're using cameras that are professional cameras that are being used. We're using the Dectronics equipment, which is being used in professional arenas everywhere and in select high schools. We're one of the only schools, there's now going to be a second school in Oregon that's getting a system shortly in the spring. Um, but our kids are getting to use equipment that they're using in college with the Pac-12 network, they're using on NBC and ESPN. Um, we're also going to be bringing in Padcasters, which is going to be I iPads to film games live. We'll be using all the same microphones, booms, lavaliers, all those that are being used in the professional workforce. And what has surprised you the most about these five, first seven months or so, or just a trimester and a half? of CES can work, how the kids evolved starting to what they're doing now? Um, biggest surprises was I didn't know what a big deal it was going to be. That was my first surprise. When the trainer came out from the Kansas City Royals to train us on working on the scoreboard, that, that made me take a step back. And that made me actually worry a little bit thinking, oh, I really need to take a more active role as like the director or the producer of all the games. But then, then as, as soon as I saw how the kids took everything, um, I changed my mind. And that surprised me also because I thought, oh, I'm going to be wearing the headset and barking out orders. And how ridiculous was that? It's the learning experience that the students are getting, my student leaders, from doing the actual games. And my surprise was, I wasn't surprised how good they were because I looked at them and I saw it. Um, I'm surprised by how much time kids give outside of school. We would do a game, game would be starting at 7, kids would be in class, in the regular class, but then they'd be here from 4 o'clock till 10.30 at night. And their benefit, what they're learning, what they're doing. They got pats on the back, they got recognized by the school board, um, we got to go on a cool trip. Those are all awesome things, but it's, the kids gave back their time. So I am. I'm not truly surprised because I know how cool it is, but I'm always surprised by how awesome kids are because that's the part I love so much about what I do. So this is all powered by kids. There's no uh, adult taking the lead on this. this is all... No, I don't think so. I think it is all student driven. I mean, I throw out ideas, but I put out an idea and we brainstorm it. You know, all the product projects we've done since game day, we just throw out ideas, positions in the field. The first game I assigned positions. After that, I think pretty much students decided everything. Um, I think when we start doing some of the live games, I'll take maybe a bigger role because I'm getting all the equipment in and maybe I'll know a little bit more about it initially. After that, it's all you guys. Um, when we go into track season, we have to train, we'll have to train for next year. So we'll start building what is it we need in place because I'm losing three quarters of my class because they're seniors. Um, so we really have to set that foundation up. So that's important. So as you know, I'm interested in making digital media production my career. Mm -hmm. how, would, how valuable would you say this experience with CESPN would be for a college consideration for me? For that kind of a major? When I look at you specifically, Chase, I just see all the incredible opportunities you've been presented with this year from getting to play with cool equipment, getting to be a director and producer at games, getting to work all the different cameras, um, working with teams. The, the easy way that you take a role from being total lead in a, in a production to a guide pulling cable, and it doesn't impact who you are as a person, which is such a strength of yours that I see, um, being able to, to go and 
do all the different things we can with this equipment and you know from our toy, toy reviews to our this is ESPN infomercial to pretty soon doing live game day playing around in software I just see so many benefits to you for a program that's going to take you in um, what will be your final role in in digital media I don't know but you have incredible skills directing you see the field well, and I'm not talking just about a football field, you see an arena of activity really well. You're very easy to get along with, which I think makes a big, a big difference. You use your humor to soothe over spots uh, where some kids would get pissed off at other kids, uh, which I've seen as a, a super strength of yours. The growth since September of this year, I have been extremely impressed with the idea that we were given about 48 hours of training in total from Dectonics on how to work equipment that you can't even learn at a higher education level. And within three weeks time, we're running the entire program on your own. So I would say the growth is extremely substantial. Three students from CESPN intern for you now. How has it been to work with these students? The internship is really special to me because um, my job moved from teaching over to administration, so I missed the teaching part. And the one-on-one -on -one teaching is extraordinary to me. Because you get a chance to cover a lot of different topics where you wouldn't be able to do it in a normal classroom with 28 to 32 children. Um, so it's something I actually take great pride in. Well, first of all, I've learned how to uh, work in team. Uh, and through that, throughout working in team, I've acquired uh, leadership skills and communication skills. Also, uh, I have learned uh, how to use uh, cameras, uh, try casters for replay, and uh, many other positions that occupy in the, in the CSPN. I've learned several things from CSPN, mainly to be accountable on yourself since it's so um, team productive and cooperative and just so much camaraderie within this. And I've learned several things about uh, filming, about using uh, equipment, and pretty much definitely being accountable for yourself and trying to get in the amount of hours, but it's all up to you to do that since nobody's going to be holding your hand or encouraging you. You gotta, you gotta pursue and you gotta want. Thank you.